Hello, Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on minigame timers and making timers for small sections of your servers, games, ascending timers, descending timers, all that kind of fun stuff. This video is for you. If you guys are trying to make a timer that actually times how long players have been in your entire world, I don't recommend it using this video. I recommend using another one of my videos, which I will post a link in the top of the screen there, and that one there would count how many minutes, days, hours you've been playing. Um, this one here is great for using um, for small games or small sections in your servers. Um, you could do it in a specific area. Um, in this example, I did it at a specific tag. So what we have going on over here is I have a raw title um, telling me that I'm playing the mini game and my time is 50 seconds um, so in order to actually accomplish showing the players the score is going to this is the first command we're going to want to do here so we're going to do a forward slash execute command I'm going to execute at anyone and this is where you would decide who gets to see it um, I did anyone with the tag equals mini game and then tilde 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 forward slash title raw at self and then we're going to go on the action bar and we're going to open up a set of squiggly brackets we're going to put the word raw text inside of quotations we're going to do a colon a square bracket a squiggly bracket then we're going to put the word text in quotations with a colon then we're going to open up quotations around the actual words that we want to show the player so i actually have a quotation work quotation mark then i used a color symbol around the word minigame a color symbol before the word time and another color symbol to switch the rest of it to light blue. I don't want to click yet to show you the color symbols because I think it's going to mess up how we can view this. Then I want to close that quotation and close that bracket. Put a comma. You're going to open up another set of brackets. Squiggly guys, of course. We're going to put the word score inside of quotations with a set of colons. Open up another squiggly bracket. You're going to put the word name inside of quotations with a colon. Then you're going to put the at symbol self for at self inside of quotations that's whose score we're choosing and then we're going to put a comma the word objective inside of quotations that's which score we're going to choose and then you're going to put a colon then you're going to put quotations around your scoreboard objective name which i named my scoreboard minigame and then i put a couple of squiggly brackets a square bracket and a squiggly bracket to close all that and now you can see when i click on there that i used a color symbol l to do the large letters a color symbol six for the orange color symbol e for the yellow color symbol b for the light blue um, so then we're going to make sure that that command is either on whatever kind of delay you'd like or it's going to be on only if a player is in the world, whatever you want to do there. I left it always active here so that it basically only plays at people who have the tag minigame. So then we're going to want to go ahead and actually give ourselves that tag. So we're going to go ahead and do tag at self add minigame. So this is what we're going to do to test it. If you wanted to add this to the players, I suggest doing a chain maybe out of the teleport button or the button that turns your game on, however that game works. You're going to add this tag to the player then, and then if you were going to do a descending timer, that's when you would add the score as well. So you can see I already have the tag, so now that I'm actually getting the word minigame time down at the bottom of my screen, we're pretty much all set here. So now we're ready to decide, does this timer ascend or descend? So this one here is going to remove points from us. So this one here is going to be basically take away time from us is what I'm saying here. So this one here I did a 20 tick delay on because I would like this one to basically represent seconds. Um, you can see here that I have a little chart for us. 20 ticks equals one second in Minecraft and that would mean that using simple math there 1200 ticks is actually one minute. So if you wanted to change either the ascending or the descending timer here um, you would basically want to go ahead and change it to 1200 if you want it to be in minutes. So you can go ahead and use multiplication with 20 ticks a second to figure out exactly how you'd like yours to subtract time. So this one here is going to subtract times from the player and it's set on 20 tick delay for seconds. Forward slash scoreboard players remove at p tag equals minigame and then we're removing one point on the minigame scoreboard. So now it's time to make sure that we actually added a minigame scoreboard. So we're going to want to go ahead and into the chat here and we're going to go ahead and add a scoreboard objective. So we're going to go forward slash scoreboard objectives add and then the name of your score can be anything you'd like. I used the word minigame and then dummy. And they're going to enter that and it's going to tell you that a scoreboard has been added with the name dummy or with the name minigame, excuse me. It says for me that I already have one because I've already gone ahead and done that. 
So now that we have our scoreboard all set up here, we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. Um, you can have that turn on all the time if you'd like to, or you can have that turn on with your game, whatever you'd like to do there. But you can see now that my time is going down. I started off, I had 50 seconds, and now every second, a second gets taken away from me here. We'll let that cruise on down to 30 seconds here so we get a nice round number. We're going to break that now. And now let's say you wanted to start off where your player started at zero points and you wanted to count how long they played the game instead. So now we're going to do an ascending timer. And then this one here is basically going to add points to the players, what I'm saying. So forward slash scoreboard players add. Again, at P with a tag is minigame. We're going to add minigame one. And then this is set on 20 tick delay. If you want to make that minutes, you could set that on a 1200 tick delay. And then you can see when I turn that on there with a the block of redstone, that now my time goes up. So you basically, you know, you could do whatever you'd like to here. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and set your players up with one that's going to add, I would say that when they leave, the game you're going to want to just reset their score back down to zero or maybe you're going to hold the score for time I don't know whatever you'd like to do there if you wanted to set this up where it's going to remove from the players I would say when the game turns on or in their teleport button or whatever you would run a command that basically would just add however much time they get to play um, so you can see here I added minigame 60, so if I press that it'll put me at 100 there. So now let's say I had 100 seconds to play total. When my score down goes down to zero, you could then do a command that ends the game based on me having zero points. You know, whatever you'd like to there. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe to Arctic Shark Games on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch. Throw a like on that video, and if you're having trouble with scoreboard commands in general, or this timer specifically, go ahead and jump in that Shark Commander's Discord, which there'll be a link in the description, as well as a link in the pinned comment, and maybe we can help you out with a few of those questions. Thank you very much, and keep commanding.